Well, when I was chatting to Eco Athletes, this American organization, um, they showed me some research that, that suggested athletes are the most, or sports people are the most influential people of our time, which was kind of, I mean, I, you know, I'm, you know, I'm in a niche sport with, with a, you know, a moderate following, but was still uh, t terrifying, but empowering as well. And, and made me think, well, I can't, I can't be quiet on this. I've got to carry on. And I definitely, I, I do have some under, sort of some understanding frustration, like uh, understanding is not the word I'm looking for. Some frustration with some fellow athletes, actually, who, who, who do actually make very thoughtful decisions, but don't talk about it. Um, publicly um, but I guess well we know actually with sports people there are three things that hold them back again some more research um, by eco athletes and, and they said it's yeah the fear of being called a hypocrite and and for American athletes anyway sometimes they say well it's too science or it's too political to speak out um, but I think the hypocrite one is probably the big one so yeah I know athletes uh, and with the UTMB thing I, I contacted several most of the elite athletes um who were going to be there now some of them i had no relationship with so it, it may have felt like spam they may not have even seen the message but some of them i knew a bit um some of them come from your part of the world uh and almost all of them didn't want to speak out publicly um quite a few signed the petition uh including yeah lucy bartholomew i thought was very brave she signed it even though she was going to be doing one of the races and and yeah came in for criticism for that and she gets criticized quite a lot actually quite unfairly i think she's very brave um but yeah, and, and one of the athletes um, who actually, yeah, is, is again from your part of the world said, um, you know, they didn't, you know, they didn't feel their, their lifestyle was sustainable because they're an elite athlete and they, well, they didn't say how many times they flew, but she, she or he would, I don't know, I'm guessing fly two or three times a year. But I mean, that, that typifies the, the unfortunate sort of place elite athletes find themselves, um, which I don't think it's fair to, to sort of say, right, you shouldn't ever fly or... Now, now most most athletes, elite athletes, could could probably reduce their footprint a bit and, and maybe do a bit better. But it's not. I don't think it's fair. You know, careers can be very short. Um, a bit of sponsorship is hard to come by. Um, it might all be over tomorrow. What one slip on the trail, it could all be over. Um, so I don't think it's fair to jump on. Yeah, to jump on sort of the elite sports people and we and and and. And the idea that we might is holding them back from speaking out and making more change. So it's, I think that's a sh that is a shame. Um, and, and I guess the answer, I think the answer is to embrace that hip hypocrite word and, and, and go, yeah, it, there's something hypocritical about what I'm saying, but, but not really because we're all, you know, we're all going to be hypocrites and it's too late. You know, it's too late and too important not to, um, not to speak out, I think.